This place is giving me proper jungle vibes. And uh, there is a puddle there, I think, which is used by animals. So, as we were coming, I saw some animal there. I couldn't uh, see the whole body, just saw the feet of it. Maybe some deer or boar was there. So, this place is uh, wild in true sense. Okay. And uh, we are not going further because we don't know this place yet. What are the exit points? And uh, what are animals are there? Once you have a good idea about a place, you have come there many times, multiple times and spend time there, then you are confident to go further, deep. This is a proper jungle. We can already see that 250 or I don't know the exact age, but we can uh, guess how old it is. So one remnant tree is there in this place, which is a good sign. This shows that this place hasn't been disturbed that much. And uh, I'm sure if I go further into this, more such old trees will be there, giants of the forest but we should not rush in such places step by step slowly slowly coming day after day getting a little more confidence to go further that's how you that's how you do it that's how you understand explore or study this part of nature see how beautiful that that part is. Now I just want to sit here and uh, observe all these fishes. This water is drinkable actually. very cold water it's january so winter is going on in india right now see some bird is there on the tree <clears throat> the last thing i want to do is scare some animal because scare or surprise some animal that i don't want to do because Fishes are there, I think garras are there. Big garras. This place is used by all kinds of animals for drinking, just hanging out in this area. So, see a lot of fishes. Water is not moving that fast here. So this is a good place. See how these trees are holding the soil and this, all this soil. Their, uh, their roots are running on the ground, not under the ground. Because there is not much soil here at this place. So they are forced to, their roots are forced to run upwards on the ground. Wow, this is deep. See how deep it is. The oxygen that we breathe in at such places like this it's just a different feeling you can spot the difference clearly in your breathing
Yes. All right. So that's an alarm call. I should go back. Wonderful place. I'm blessed to be here. Fortunate. And I thank God and everyone for giving me this opportunity to visit such places, explore them, learn about them. Once you go out of such places, outside life, cities, when the road starts, then uh, that feeling sta sets in your mind where you're very grateful to nature for all these things that I'm able to see, that nature is showing me. It's a good thing. Now slowly we'll head back. These rocks are quite slippery. And especially you should not wear sandals and all in such places. See? See how water is coming. Water finds place. Water makes its own way. Sometimes above the ground, sometimes under the ground. But gravity will ensure that it flows downwards. And that's how these streams are formed. pristine place and that tree just made my day I love to uh, hug old trees give them respect for standing that for standing there all this time and giving us its numerous benefits Slowly we'll head back. See how water is making its own way, own path. Sometimes under the rocks. And it goes further. So this is a good nice stream, cold water, still flowing after the rainy season is over. About 4 months have passed after the monsoon, still flowing, still carrying a lot of water. The stream uh, flow is not that powerful but still. It's doing its job. 